the fabulous thoughts. I'm a happy little thought. Okay. Wendy is my special gal. She's like 90. I'm down. The dentures never bite. He's all right. He's all right. Hello everyone. My name's Katrina and today I'm going to be sharing with you some information about the next round of the Tome Topple Readathon as well as sharing my TBR. I'm so excited that the Tome Topple Readathon has come around again because there's one book in particular that I've been holding off reading until the Tome Topple Readathon because it's a thousand pages long and I just I really find it hard to find the time to commit to reading such a large book so I've been just telling myself I'll wait till the Tome Topple Readathon and now the time has come so I'm really looking forward to getting to that particular book I'll get into that in just a little while but I'm also really excited to be participating in in another readathon and also for helping co-host it. So the Tome Shopper readathon is all about getting to those books on your shelf that are absolutely massive. Those books that are over 500 pages and you might find them a little bit intimidating but they deserve just as much love as the shorter books on your shelf which is why we dedicate two weeks to this readathon so we can really give those longer books the love they deserve. Round six of the Tome Topple readathon will be running from the strike of midnight on June 29th until 11 59 p.m on July 12th. There are some optional reading challenges, there will be some Instagram challenges which will be announced prior to the readathon starting on Sam from Thoughts on Tomes' personal Instagram and there are also going to be a bunch of reading sprints. Myself and the other hosts will be running sprints over on the official Tome Topple Twitter account which is at Tome underscore Topple and I wanted to take this moment to give a shout out to the lovely hosts helping out this round. We of course have the amazing Sam from Thoughts on Tomes who is the creator of the Tome Topple Readathon. Also co-hosting this round we have Adriana from Perpetual pages, Sarah Jane from A Book Life, Sean from Reader's Rambles, as well as myself. I've included all of the host's links in the description box below, as well as the Tome Topple Twitter account so you can follow along with all of the reading sprints, as well as the Tome Topple Goodreads group. I would definitely recommend taking a look at the Goodreads group because it's a really good forum for helping out with one of the reading challenges and we also have like lists of tomes as well. If you're struggling to think up of some books that are big, over 500 pages that you might be interested in reading, there's a a whole list in the group and there's also threads for discussing some of the books that a lot of people are reading throughout the readathon. And as I've mentioned a couple times there are some reading challenges. There are five different challenges. You don't have to do the challenges if you don't want to. You can pick and choose something you want to do or if you want to try all of them totally up to you. But these are what the challenges are. First of all, read more than one tome. The next challenge is to read a graphic novel and this graphic novel in its like physical form has to be over 500 pages. For this particular challenge with the graphic novel you can use an omnibus or a bind up but just keep in mind that this is only applicable when reading graphic novels. When you're reading a regular novel you can't actually include bind ups unless an individual story is over 500 pages long. So collections of short stories, for example, don't actually count. The next challenge is to read a tome that is part of a series, then buddy read a tome, and lastly, to read an adult novel that is a tome. Now, as for my TBR pile, I have set aside pile of three books which is probably pretty damn ambitious I don't expect to read all three of these but I'm just kind of giving myself the options here seeing where it takes me and in all honesty I'll probably only complete maybe one two challenges seeing how I go and that's because I've got one book that is like my primary goal for this entire readathon and that's the book I've been putting off reading until this readathon came along uh, because it's such a huge book it's just over a thousand pages and that is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clarke. I've been wanting to read this book for the longest time and it's finally going to happen <laughs> and I'm scared but also really excited about it. So that is going to be my main focus of the readathon. I do have it on audio so I might switch back and forth between reading the physical book and listening to it on audio just so I can get a lot of progress done because it's a huge book and I want to actually finish it by the end of the readathon. Book number two is one that I am currently reading and at the moment I am actually buddy reading this book with a friend. I'm not doing the typical kind of buddy read. My friend is in America and she doesn't have a copy of this one so I am facetiming her and reading the book to her. So it's a very unique kind of buddy read I suppose 
suppose. And that is Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. This one is a little over 500 pages, like 515 pages. I have a literal guardian angel who blessed me with a copy of Muse of Nightmares. So I've started reading it to my friend. At the moment I'm only 15 pages in. We're going to be getting through this one probably pretty slowly, but it's, it's a tome and I'm going to be making progress throughout the readathon, so I thought I'd just mention it here. The last book I'm going to mention is one I don't actually expect to start during the readathon, and that's because most of my time is probably going to be taken up by reading Jonathan Strange, but on the off chance that I finish that book, I will pick up The Poppy War by R.F. Kong. This has just been making the rounds at the moment, and I've been hearing so many fantastic things from so many people, so I need to get into it. I need to read this book. It's going to happen, man. It's so going to happen. So hopefully I'll get time to start this one by the end of the readathon, but we'll see. We will see. I am so excited for the Tome Topple readathon to start, and I will be vlogging the entire time as well, so you can look forward to that. And like after the end of the Tome Topple readathon, I'm going to be jumping straight into the Buy New Bibliothon, and then after that there's the book Chibathon. It is readathon central right now, and I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you guys are excited to see those videos, and I hope you're also really excited to join me in the Tone Topple Readathon. Don't forget to follow the Twitter in the description below for more information, announcements about Instagram challenges, and all of the reading sprints, all that fun stuff. If you are participating in the Readathon, I would love to hear what you have on your to be read pile. Leave those down in the comment sections below. But that is all that I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye!